What's going on guys, Courtney's here, and I wanted to put together, I think, a really important video when it comes to creating results that you desire in your life and creating success in business or whatever endeavor you choose. Um, because I've really been thinking a lot about my own personal story, my own experience with being in business for myself for the past two years, getting started first with uh, with Vima, it was the first company I got started with, and getting into network marketing and never really leaving the scene or the industry of home business or direct sales. And I just look back on every month since I've started in January of 2013, I kind of I think like, what did I do to get to this point in my life? What did I do to create these type of results, whether they're positive or bad? And for me, you know, quite honestly and bluntly, you know, I'm not anywhere close to where I want to be or, or where I thought I would be a year ago or two years ago. Um, but that's not to say that, you know, success and the results you want in life are always going to come as fast as you think they are because you don't know. You don't know how to succeed necessarily, and if you did, you would already be successful. You'd already achieve the things you want. So I wanted to talk about the things that kind of, you know, prevent you from getting the desired results you want, and and talk about, you know, just what has kept you where you are, what has propelled you forward, or what has held you back, depending on wherever you're at in your business, and. You know, for me personally, like I said, I've created some good results, but I haven't gotten anywhere close to where I want to be. And I think the number one problem with that is really just my overall consistency. I haven't, in the last 26 months, 27 months, I haven't worked my business like consistently, even part time, for six months straight. It's always been a 90 day, 120 day shift for me where I literally get up and move locations completely different locations from one area to the next and you know it's like starting a new life almost I've done that four or five times and that's what's thrown a big wrench I think in my journey towards success in terms of slowing me down it's been my own fault I take full responsibility for it and I recognize it but the it's not really about like you know my results and that and whatnot that's for me personally to deal with and whatnot but it's more of Figuring out what has got me to where I am and what has gotten you to where you are today. And I think it comes down to your programming. It really comes down to your mindset and your mentality. And, you know, you know, just going back to me in terms of my my journey and the decisions I've made, I realized that I was in a habit. I was in a, a habitual cycle of leaving and moving like every 90 to 120 days. I mean, I lived in like three, I lived in at least three different locations, three or four in Lima, Ohio. And then um, when my time was up after college last year, I went out to St. Louis. And then after about six weeks, I came back home and I lived at home for like another six weeks. And then I freaking left and went out to Arizona and I was out there for like 90 days. And I don't regret traveling at all. I love traveling at this young age and being able to experience life firsthand and being independent and just throwing yourself out there because you learn a lot. You're exposed to a lot. You think things that you'd never think before or imagine before if you weren't in these situations, you know, that I'm kind of talking about. And anyway, I kind of realized that unconsciously I've, I've, developed habits and cycles of like addictions you know to um create the results in my life like i i've i've developed a way of thinking that you know i need to do this in order to be happy or to achieve this type of result or you know i i ran away from problems when it when it hurt me or um whatever the deal was i was always trying to get rid of the environment before really learning to grow through that circumstance that I was in and right now I've been living at home for nearly five months which is almost half a year and I'm kind of getting into the point where I need to figure out you know something to change to get better results because it's you know it's 
you know, it's difficult living at home when you're building an online business that's so unorthodox, like network marketing. It's not accepted by people. It's not understood. And it's it's difficult. That's just reality. But you can't blame your results. You can't blame where you're at on your environment and your circumstances. You need to overcome them. And really, I think sometimes life just throws you bricks. Life just throws shit at you. And it's up to you to kind of, you know, grow through the experience to grow through the circumstances to get to the other side. And anyway, I think I think most importantly, it's we're always programming ourselves. I realize that every moment counts, every day counts, every thought you think, every behavior, every action you take, um, doing something in your life. It's programming who you are literally as a person, your personality, it's um, backing up your belief systems, it's um, creating new habits or continuing habits that you have to move forward in your life. Um, I mean, it's it's something that we really need to be clear about and you need to observe yourself wherever you're at in your life and realize that you do have habits, you do have cycles of thought patterns and addictions and you go through you know stages in your life where you, you tend to make the same choices you have before because you're programmed to do that. And I realized I was too, after two years of being in home business, I kind of like figured out that I needed to learn and grow through these experiences. I needed to face the type of resistance I was facing to step into the best version of myself. That was the only way I was going to ever achieve success because my, my version of success is that exactly, stepping into the best version of myself. And I would always be incongruent, you know, if, if, I'm, not, if I'm not facing my fears and handling my problems myself and becoming the best version of me, I would always be incongruent because I'd be running away from the issues and the challenges that I should be dealing with mentally and emotionally and spiritually, even if it wasn't directly contributing to my business success at the moment. I know in the long run it's contributing to something much greater and that's just my whole, you know, my whole life here on earth in general. And then of course that's going to help you succeed in business because I mean, dude, if you can overcome if you can overcome your own, you know, personal challenges, your own, your own addictions, your own bad habits, if you can, if you can stop, you know, these things that are holding you back, you can freaking achieve anything in life. Once you kind of get the right mindset, it's just about doing the work and putting in the consistent effort and you're going to get what you want. That's kind of, that's kind of how life is. I mean, um, I think there's a lot about handling adversity and understanding these things. You have to be clear about you know, you have to be clear about what the issue is at hand and then you got to deal with it. And that's how you kind of transform your life, I think, is being clear about where you're at in your life and observing yourself in the moment, what you're doing day to day, what type of results you've pr produced the last week, the last month, the last six months, and ask yourself, like, why am I where I am today? How can I get to where I need to be? How can I step into the best version of myself? What is it going to take for me to achieve my dreams? Like, you need to ask yourself these questions and you need to begin to, you know, get clear about how to really, you know, get to the next level in your life and your business. And a lot of times it's, it's the answers, things you don't want to hear. So, I mean, that's kind of just some of my thoughts today. Um, if you vibed with this or kind of got anything from it, feel free to comment below. Um, and I look forward to speaking to you soon and connecting. All right. Peace out.